What exactly are we doing here? <laughs> this is why we are with the IHRA motor switch for the PlayStation 2. This is a great game, actually. I mean, I, I show like a terrible glitch like that, but this is a great game because of the, not the gameplay, but the customization. The customization is amazing. Some of it's amazing in the worst way possible, though. Like, for example, I can make this thing weigh near nothing. Let me fix this weight to its... Put this in the center. But right now, this vehicle weighs near nothing. And if you know anything about older Cadillacs, that ain't normal. But you could do all kinds of things. You can make, okay, just put tons of weight on this corner, tons of weight on this corner. You could do so much with these things. This, this is the car I'm using right now. There's a bunch of other ones. I'll show them in a better method later. You could add a wheelie bar, but man, I like doing wheelies. I added the wing to hope it would help with flight. It seemed to help pretty well, as you saw at the start. So this is where the game gets crazy, though. The amount of customization you got. Here is nothing special. It's just gear ratios. I didn't bother to change them. I just threw in a, a GM's four-speed. You could choose your clutch and the stall, multiple, and slip. Not many other games will let you do that. But this is a drag racing game, so it makes sense. Now the engine stuff is where it gets crazy. You see this engine? 9,996 horsepower at 8,384 RPMs. That's abnormal, isn't it? Well, this is a custom engine with a 7.0 bore and a 12 cylinders. It's a four stroke. And basically, you could change any of these values within a certain range to just about whatever you want. Like if I say, you know what? I don't want a 12 cylinder. I want a one cylinder. You got a one cylinder. You could do so much with this game. You could change all these things. Most of them are already maxed out. The game will not it appears unless you have over 10,000 horsepower what a shame right induction though you got all this you could they have a bunch of different manifold types like really I'm just basically drag racing everything to get it up to 10,000 obviously but you could choose the head port you got all this stuff though so much so much so much stuff to choose from I love it I mean come on how many other games let you choose the lifter just like how many? None! Fuel types, some of them might. You know, we're running on methanol, which is 98% uh, nitrothane. Nitro methane, excuse me. The camshaft, I have this thing set up just to kind of abuse it to be as basically close to 999. Because I basically just kind of tweak these until it was close to the 10,000 mark. But you could change all of this stuff, which I barely even know what all of it does. Thankfully, if you don't know what it does, you pull up R1 and it tells you, it's like, oh, IVO, the intake valve opening. It signals the beginning of the airflow into the cylinder. The value is in degrees before top dead center it has a range of 0 to 80 degrees. Like, if you know nothing about tuning cars and you want to learn, pick this game up. I mean, yeah, I don't know how you figure out how to actually change the IVO, EVO, and all that in your car, but at least you know what it means. So, I don't have to care about that shit, though. I got a rotary. <laughs> fuck is a piston and then this is a turbo there is actually a ton of actual real turbos like you got Garrett's on it and then there's some Ray J's I don't know if, I don't I don't know if like I don't know if they're all real like some of the brands I'm like eh, but Roots and Garrett I know are real because they're like the most popular for um, turbos and superchargers respectively as far as I'm concerned at least around me suspension again tons of stuff you can do you could well not as deep but you could choose how much you want your roll bar to be, how soft. And the springs, you got a good amount of stuff. And I didn't mess with this. I'm using a stock Cadillac suspension. Tires, you got all these ones that are like the real. Okay, this would be a drag slick. You now these are drag uh, Department of Transportation ones, but these ones are slick, straight up street illegal. Throw some slicks on this thing, and you could say I don't. You know, I want to have tires that are something crazy. You can. I, mean, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. And uh, you can have different tires for everything. I'm just putting slicks on everything because actually I put slicks on the front already. Without realizing it was the, uh... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, that wasn't the front, excuse me. I always get this mixed up thinking it's different. It's like the car is pointed to the left, not pointed upwards. I always think it's pointed upwards for some reason when I'm doing this. So you can put some drag slicks on it. You got devices as well with shift light. Tells you when to shift. You know, and you got a rev limiter. Follow stop. So 
follow stop. So like it tells you exactly what everything does. Delay box. The delay boxes use the program specific delay. I actually know what those are, but you know it tells you all this stuff. You can you can even choose your parachute style. Like ah, so much stuff in this and because inspection. All restrictions passed. How? So then you can race. Now I'm gonna show off the rest of the cars as well because there's a single race. When you choose your opponent's car, for example, you could this way you can see a preview of the car. So these are all the cars in there. They are not stock, as you can plainly see. These ones are kind of jacked up with some big ass fat slicks on the back, but you get the idea. Then you got some vehicles from like real racers, I guess. Like I'm assuming I don't. Like this game came out in early 2000s. It's kind of hard to go back and say who was drag racing back then, but I think they were real people. You got some that aren't real, like Fuely 2. You know, it's. But these are all just some funny cars and some rails and shit. So we're racing against the, the Zenimax Dragster. Which brings me to another point, real quick. This is made by Bethesda. Like, yeah, that Bethesda, as far as I know. The one that makes, um. Uh, all that Elder Scrolls. This is the first Bethesda game I played, funnily enough. In my life. Just. How things ended up. So this is my stupid Cadillac. Which will, it has too much power really for its own good. It'll just kind of glitch up. There's a reason you don't put a thousand horsepower on your Cadillac. I'm hoping I added some, I actually added extra a ton, literally a ton of extra weight. But I added it unequally, now that I think about it. So this car is going to be leaning to the side or something. It automatically stages for you, unless you... you know, I'll just let it. Right now, you can just, I'm trying to see. Like, I know my car is terribly unequal in weight. And look at those tires. <laughs> this is going to be great. So, the controls in this are kind of different. But it's all right. Oh, shit! <laughs> Too much power! <laughs> I love doing that. Oh, I got a red. I got a red light. Wreck. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just like I just like showing off all the the stupid stuff you can do. Like you shouldn't be able to do that, but the game's like, go ahead, just do it. Fuck it, who cares? So let's go ahead and just make a real car because I just wanted to show how crazy you can get. You know, one that's sane-ish? We'll start off with a... We'll start off with a S10, that sounds fun. So, what we'll do is we'll just throw on a double wheelie bar, because I still will make it have lots of speed. Won't change the height on it. You know, this is actually how I kind of went about doing things. The automatic. Yeah, let's put on a, just a generic, since it's a Chevy. There's no Chevy-specific ones, but... We can put a GM, uh... We can put a GM, let's see, what do we got here? I'm going to put auto on it just because I don't feel like shifting because I don't know how fast. Like, I might have to make it where the shifts are like, boom, 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 boom. And I don't want to have to try to do that shit because I don't know how stupid I'm going to make this thing yet. We'll go ahead and get the, hmm. Yeah, we'll do the 4780 four, clutch. Still on a drag, drag clutch, who cares? And this is something that's actually kind of cool. This, uh, you know, you think, oh, it just has a bunch of V8s, and that's about it. it. It has tons of blocks. It has the Pontiac Quad 4. Funny thing is, though, some of these engines, you could pick it, but the valves from the, the second you pick it, the valves and their size don't match up with some of the other things. Like, for example, induction, it doesn't match up. So what you got to do is you got to say, okay, put it on... Well, not induction, actually. It's the valves. What am I saying induction for? It's under induction. So you have to say, okay, how about these valves? And then you can come back and pick the engine you want. Which, like, for this one, just for fun, we're going to put the engine from the Ford... Sh from the uh, SHO show, whatever you say it. That is from the the car that looks like a Ford Taurus, but really it's not. And just for shits and giggles, we're going to make it a V9. Why not? You know, compression will raise it up a bit. Put up to 16. Okay, we can't do that. Compression's too high. 13. The sound, you could choose the sound. There's not many. There's no real good sound for something like this. So we'll just put a Ford 351 Cleveland because it's Ford Ford. I mean, it's based on a Ford block. It's like you took two show engines, cut one in half, and slapped them together. Kind of like a 13B and a 20B. 
you know, I know rotary shit, so it's basically 13B versus the 20B. And then just for the hell of it, we'd be like, all right, let's throw on a big ass induction with tons of flow, tons of flow. And you can say, all right, what kind of, you know, let's do, let's just do individual runners. And we could go ahead and say, put four valve head, oh, can't do that. I mean, I could change it to fix it to make it work. But I don't feel like it. So we're just going to go into, let's do wedge. Well, that's kind of, you know, I was sitting at a lot more, oh, I know why it looks like less, because I changed this. I was like, I had more power before, it happened to it all. So wedge should be fine. Where's wedge? So you go wedge, alright, good. Valves. I don't know what this, like I wish it told you what the stock kind of stuff was on a show engine, but what you gonna do? We'll leave it at, we'll just make it an even number here and just for the hell of it, we'll throw the exhaust a little higher. Oh, not that much higher. Guess we can't throw the exhaust much higher after all. Maybe we could raise the intake a little bit and then raise the exhaust a bit. So we go, hmm. Ah, it's not worth the trouble. The game will if you try to put in a ridiculous number, like, no. And if I go, I want 100, no, it doesn't let you. So we'll do that. Again, we'll run methanol nitramine. Yep. Camshaft, just drag race high speed. Yeah, don't worry about changing it to something special. And we'll throw some boost on, even though I probably don't need it. So last time I was using a supercharger, just for the hell of it, we'll go with the turbo this time. So Roots SC is obviously a supercharger. Vortark, I don't know. No, I said a turbo, so we're going to get like a turbo. Because they have different customizations for turbos versus superchargers. I want a Garrett. Like, I want a Garrett because that's what I would put in my car. I don't know which... Like, I'm just kind of looking at the curve, seeing which one kind of gives me the kind of look I'm going for in this thing. Well, you know what? Just do that. I mean, I don't really need much boost to... You can really push the boost up, by the way. You can go... Well, not... Like, go 19, 29. I'm assuming that's PSI. I mean, if you bring this up, the help, it'll tell you boost is in... Let's see if it's... Let's scroll down enough, it'll tell you. But look at all this stuff. You got intercooler efficiency. It's like, how do they even simulate something like that? So but right now we basically just, you know, we're doing okay. We got, we're going to need to stiffen up the, uh, oh, I can't change the roll bar. I can change the steering, but I'll leave that to stock. I'll leave the suspension to stock, even though I probably should, well... Like, I don't even understand this shit. It's calculating the torsion. It's like, holy shit! You put in real sizes and it says this is... This, I don't know, that part kind of, that's just... Uh huh? Huh? That's, cor that's... What? That's crazy. So we're gonna keep the jacked up huge ass drag sticks on the back, though. We're gonna leave all the rev limiters, throttle, all that, just the way it is. Inspection should pass, no problem. Yep. So we'll go to race. And we'll hopefully, we have no reason to fly off the track. Yeah, it's nearly 3,000 horsepower. But uh, those top fuel ones I'm racing, I think, do something like 5,000, supposedly. So, I'll lose. But, I won't fly. But this game's crazy with all the stuff you can do. It's just like, god damn. Like, the gameplay itself is, it's a drag race. The suspension was not made for this. <laughs> uh, that, but yeah, actually, that went 
fine, except for the suspension hating me, really hating me. So if I wanted to, I could stage up myself so I could be like, and I could do whatever I want back here to stage up. And there we go. So we'll try to take off a little lighter. So yeah, we took off a little lighter, but it wasn't fast enough this time. That sand's crazy. Let's just stop. That's all right. It's a loss, but whatever. I had a faster trap speed than them. I just didn't want to go too fast and fly off the course and stuff. All right. So yeah, you, like you got all the real stats you get from real drag race and stuff. You can see my zero to sixty is where I was like, rrr, rrr, and hundred two is a. Rrr, rrr, and so let's try to beat them this time. I think I have a chance. I'm just trying to, you know, kind of figure out how much I can give this thing without it flipping. You got a bunch of camera views as well. I like the one that it's in this the crowds almost, not the crowds, but more like a somebody behind the scenes type thing. So we'll stage up. All right, I didn't bother doing any burnouts this time, which is too bad. But too much. <laughs> Pop the shoots! I don't know if I could win this actually. It's just like, like I said, I'm play, I'm racing a goddamn, you know, one of the rails or whatever they're called, top fuel fuckers, in S10 with a lot of power. It ain't gonna be easy. I can tell you that much. We'll try it one more time just because I feel like I have a chance. I don't think I really do, but I feel like I do, you know? Alright, here we go. What am I doing? So that when I crossed over the line a bit. How is my 0-60 to 60, though before I crossed? And it's still kind of crap. I'm just barely trailing behind them for the most part. Yeah, that suspension is not made for that, obviously. You know, you could choose your you could choose your tracks. I mean, like a bunch of tracks. Hey, shit, I don't know all these tracks, but I would assume they'd be real. Some of them, maybe at least. And you got like if you don't want to just screw around and you know just make supercars. You could do season. You could do like race after race after race if that's really what you like to do. But I like mostly just saying, well, what if I tweak this setting and, you know, have a stupid whatever. And this should be it. I don't know what I'm racing, actually. I didn't. Did I just break the game? There we go. What am I racing? What am I racing? All right, I am racing a... So I probably won't win still. Well, I have a chance. Maybe. Alright, staged up. The controls are weird on this game, too. They work, but like when you first pick it up, you will not know how to move. Probably. It is so different from most other games. I was close. Pop the shoots. Yeah, this thing is not stable. On the other hand, I was closer. And I was really close. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, look at all this stuff. Those rules. What is, what is this? Look. All these extra rules you can modify. There is so much in this game. I don't. I never even looked at these, honestly. But shit, it's crazy. 
Put the humidity, the temperature, just wind direction. Wow! I love this game, man. I could screw around in this for hours. I have, and I'm still am. So, like, let's just, for example, let's take a, let's take a dragster. Add a wheelie bar to it just for the hell of it. You can remove the wing off a dragster. Front and back. So transmission is whatever dragsters use, probably. Yeah, it's some crazy thing. Engine, that's it? Really? I'm just going to increase the cylinders a little bit and... Uh, power! You know, add a little boost. Uh, yeah, turbo leg is fun. Goddamn turbo. Whoa, look at those spikes at the end. That's kind of trippy looking. That's all we're gonna do. The rest of this thing is, uh, it is a guy, a, uh, a dragster. So, what else do I need to do besides ruining it by taking off the wing? It should be okay. Why did I take off the wing? I'm an idiot. That looks real different. I look unique. I never bother to do any kind of burnouts. I mean, I can, I just never bother. I just blew my engine up. I did not know you could do that. Whoops. I genuinely did not know you could blow it. Well, no, 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 I take that back. I've done it before. I've just never blown it before we started the race. It was when I was using a manual transmission. I basically needed to be like, shift, shift, shift. And that's when I blew it up. I did never blew it up before we actually started. That's part of the reason I use the automatic in this, because the shifts were so fast. Something tells me this isn't good. Ah. This car's crap. <laughs> Where's my S10? It needs more power, that's all. Oh, but this is a fun game. I'm just screwing around now, but... It's fun, man. I wish there was a half mile, though. That'd be cool. Crazy, though, how... Can you imagine a half mile race, man? That's something else. As far as I know, there isn't any. You can change colors too, I didn't do that ever. You can also put it to CPU versus CPU just to see which is faster. You ain't play driving them like shit. So if I want to say, hey, which is faster, my crazy S10 or regular dragster, which is it? And we can figure it out. It is my S10, isn't it? Now it doesn't seem as jacked up in the back. Well, if they run anywhere near 7s, it's mine. If they don't get near 7s, it's not mine. Well, them, they'll probably run 6s in it. Now, I wonder what would have happened if I gave the AI my Cadillac. That would have been interesting. Look at how smooth that start is. That seems kind of slow, though. That's not mine. Those shoots are wrong. Maybe you can't get them to race yours. Or maybe I didn't save. Because the time was similar. It's hard to remember. Um, I've been playing this for a while now. It's like, what was I doing? Well, it's got some power, so... Oh. You can always just say more boost. 
And that's usually a pretty good solution for things. Make it some nitramine too. Just we're gonna we're gonna fuck shit up now. Now I want to know if they'll use my S10 or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have me using what I know is my S10 and them using what may or may not be my S10. I want to figure that out. And after that, I think I've screwed around enough on this game. It's fun, but... Yeah, no. I got other games to do. Maybe they are the same one. Let's see, how's theirs look? They might be the same. They kind of have the same stupid wheel setup I have. Whoops. That's what happens when you try to do... Um, anything while you're pre-staging with this much power. That's all the pre- that's all, that's all you need to do to warm up the tires. Just tap the throttle once you're warm. Alright, this thing's gonna be bouncing everywhere. Stage up, man. Let's go. Too much. Too much. Alright. I mean, I could... I have yet to say what the controls are. Everything's controlled with the left analog stick. And I'm pretty much serious there. <laughs> like, can you imagine if you really see somebody crash right there? Look at that auto stage. Ah! <laughs> Are we staged up? Nope. I broke the staging. Whoops. Good news is, even if I really hold the throttle really light, I still kind of fly everywhere. Like, I have to be very gentle. Oh my goodness. I have no control over that. I can hit the accelerator. Once I'm in the air, I don't know what's going to happen. Look at that. Like, I don't even know what's going on for sure there, but that was something else. What's... Oh, I blew up my engine. I wasn't even holding the gas. What am I doing? Besides having fun, what am I doing, man? Drag race. This is stupid. Stupid, but like, at least I'm enjoying it. I've been playing those fucking simulators for so long, I forgot what fun was. Like, this is... Fun. Simulators, ugh. I got in, uh, I got into them and I shouldn't have. It's, it's not fun. This is just like, woo, drag racing. How do they keep this thing on the ground? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I know I lost. I didn't expect to. You know what? Let's give them the stupid Cadillac, see what happens. I think they do use my car, so. Where is the Cadillac? That is not what a Cadillac should ever look like, but today that's what it looks like. Ah, I still have forgot to show off the controls every time. It's like I get so distracted because I'm having fun. Fucking simulators being so boring. And the other thing is when I have fun, the videos just go on and on and on. And people always complain, oh, the video's too short. There you go. Alright, that was terrible. I made it! 
How do you do that without lifting your body up? Theirs is different. Theirs doesn't have the wing. I thought I was on auto staging. I guess I wasn't. Oops. My goodness, did you see that shit? Deploy the shoots. Something tells me this isn't the uh, 1000 horsepower one, which is too bad. Yeah. Uh, let's make it near that real quick. I can remember what I did before. Compression ratio up to like 18. Go ahead and throw this to. I guess it doesn't matter much. Eh. I was just putting numbers now to disaster. Let's uh, go on in this. Uh, so, yeah, this one might be our. I'll see you next time.